admire your fingering. Thank you. Maybe sometime you can try that on my instrument. <laughs> Night, guys. Good job. Thanks. See you next week. That was fun, Leslie. Thanks for including me. You're welcome. If you're up for it, we could practice that middle section again. Uh, sure, why not? Just so we're clear, you understand that me hanging back to practice with you is a pretext for letting you know that I'm sexually available. <laughs> I'm good to go. I thought you weren't interested in me. That was before I saw you handling that beautiful piece of wood between your legs. You mean my cello? No, I mean the obvious crude double entendre. I'm seducing you. No kidding. What can I say? I'm a passionate and impulsive woman. So how about it? Gee, uh... Is it the waitress? Penny? What about her? Well, I thought I saw your pupils dilate when you looked at her, which, unless you're a heroin addict, points to sexual attraction. <laughs> well, uh, I did have a poppy seed bagel for breakfast, which could give a positive urine test for opiates, but certainly not dilate my pupils, so I guess there was no point in bringing it up. <laughs> you and the waitress, then? No, no. There's nothing going on between Penny and me. So you're open to a sexual relationship? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I am. Good. Yeah, it is. It is good. Did you want to start now? Why don't we finish this section first? Oh, okay. A little musical foreplay. Terrific. Good to go. Me too.